Hey everyone, welcome back to another awesome tutorial in Adobe XD and today we'll be designing these cool menu animations for an uh, uh, app mockup that I've done right here. And you can use this with a web app or an actual application if you need something like this. And uh, these are pretty cool and they don't really take a lot of time as well to make. So without further ado, let's just get started. So for this, I will want a uh, artboard which can fit my phone screen. So something like this, like a portrait. And uh, I will paste. Okay, so uh, now I've copied over this uh, mockup that I've created, just a basic mockup to showcase an app screen, nothing else. And uh, this is the burger icon which we will be clicking on to prototype. And uh, let's get started with the first uh, drop ripple kind of animation. So to create the drop, we will uh, create a basic circle in the middle of this application screen and uh, remove the borders. And um, uh, I've already given, uh, I already saved um, this color, this blue um, gradient right here. And I will double click on this circle and take one of these anchor points to the top like this and double click on this anchor point to make this like a straight edge. Um, and as you can see, this looks almost uh, like a good drop and uh, we'll just make this slightly smaller. Perfect. And we we'll place it right in the center like that. And uh, for the initial position, we want it to be zero opacity and to the top here like this. Uh, no specific position, just randomly at the top. And uh, now we will create the ripples. So uh, somewhere in the middle, we will create a circle. And again, give this the same uh, blue gradient, remove the border. And uh, for the ripple effect, what we're gonna do is for a smooth ripple effect, we want to mask this with another circle. So we'll bring another circle like this and uh, we'll put this circle in the center like this. And uh, we will select both of these circles and say Command Shift M or Control Shift M for Windows and um, make sure it's in the center of the screen. And uh, we will create, uh, we'll have to make sure that this is um, about 50% in opacity. Perfect. And we'll create another circle just like we'll just copy this over and do the same thing. We'll just increase the size of this uh, and place it in the center like this and behind the first circle. Perfect. And uh, I'll hold option. I'll hold option and create another circle and make sure this is the largest circle amongst these. And uh, I'll make sure this is below all these other circles as well. Uh, so uh, just leave it like that and make sure the opacity is set to zero for all three of these. Um, now what we're going to do is we'll duplicate this artboard and create another artboard and. Uh, now we'll make sure that the drop is opacity is 100, just like that. And we'll make sure this drop comes towards the middle, somewhere like this. Perfect. And um, uh, for the, we'll duplicate this second artboard right here. So we'll have a total of three artboards for this effect. Uh, without uh, making any changes in the third artboard, what we're going to do is, uh, since we forgot to do one thing, um, all these three ripples we want masked. So I will, uh, basically what I'm gonna do is just hold option and uh, select the rectangle that we have here for the app. And I'll just make sure it's it has a fill. And I'll place it above this app perfectly, just like that. And make sure that this rectangle is at the top. And now what we're gonna do is say, uh, select all three circles that we had in the middle for ripples and the rectangle and say Command Shift M. So now this is masked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this third one and um, I'll create, I'll just duplicate this one, the center one, and I'll reduce the opacity of this drop, um, which is right here, path 18, and we'll just bring the opacity down to zero. And uh, here what I'm going to do is uh, now we will increase the size of these circles. The first one will be the first middle uh, circle, the smallest circle will expand first, uh, just like a ripple and uh, make sure it expands throughout the application just like that. So it covers the entire screen. Nothing should be left. Oops. And let me just quickly, uh, come on. Yeah, perfect. And place this kind of in the center. Uh, perfect. 
Yeah, this is more or less center. Yeah, perfect. And reduce the opacity down to 50. We don't want it anything above 50. Now for the second circle, which is uh, which was just below this one, and we'll increase the opacity to 50 again, and increase the size. Uh, you can you can bring it to about the same, or you can make it slightly larger to give it a more ripple kind of an effect, uh, more delayed uh, ripples. And the third will be the uh, last circle, which is the largest circle, and this will be 50 percent. And you can make this the largest circle here as well. Maybe slightly larger than this. Perfect. And place it in the center of the app. Perfect. And since it's masked already, uh, it won't overlay these uh, borders. Perfect. Uh, now we want to create a quick cross to make sure that it comes back. Uh, so that we can make it come back in a white cross and uh, say four. Mm, how about eight? Perfect. And uh, I'll just rotate this to create um, this uh, exit sign or this cross sign right here and place it like this and grip this. Perfect. And uh, make sure that this cross is in the middle in the middle artboard as well, but make sure it's uh, slightly towards the bottom and uh, just move them a couple of spaces below and just say 0% opacity. Perfect. Now is the time to prototype this. I'm going to double click here and uh, select this menu burger menu and bring it right here to the second artboard. And I want to select tap, auto animate, and um, I'll select ease out and about 0.2 seconds. And on the second artboard, here is the tricky part. We want to select the entire artboard, which is which we can select from these uh, the artboard name here and just bring this arrow to the third one. And here, rather than saying tap, we want to say time trigger, uh, zero seconds delay, auto animate, ease out, and about 0.8 seconds of animation. You can make it faster if you want. And with the cross, we'll bring it to the first artboard. And we'll just make it 0.2 seconds, and auto animate is already set. So let's try this out. Let's give this a spin. Let me just center this out and if I click on this, as you can see the ripple effect is perfect. I love this ripple effect. This is slightly better than the one we did originally for the uh, design. So I love this design, it's perfect. And um, now let's move on to the second design which I'm just gonna duplicate this artboard right here at the bottom to create the second effect as well because we want the same uh, application right here. And uh, I can get rid of the drops and the circles because we won't be needing this effect right here. Perfect. Now what I want to do is now what I want to do is create a gradient animation here. I've all, I've done a, an entire video for gradient animations. I will be linking that down in the description or in the i card on top of this video. And uh, for that, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna uh, kind of duplicate this uh, rectangle which we uh, have used as a border and we will fill in this uh, with a normal white fill and re remove the borders completely make sure this lies right above this application and um, we will create another shape i'm just going for a simple circle right here and we will hold this rectangle and this circle together and we will uh, on the right hand side here in this panel, you can see this add option. Click on add. And so this now becomes one single element. So the trick is to go to solid color, change it to linear gradient. As you can see, these two shapes share the same gradient now. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. That's a neat trick you guys should remember. And um, for this trick, what I'm gonna do is I will uh, choose this purple uh, simple purple just like this and I'll just give purple on both sides and on one side on the bottom bottom hand side I want uh, zero opacity just like this and uh, I want to bring this uh, this handle of this uh, gradient to the bottom of the circle right here so if I move this circle down like this the gradient will move with me now if I select this again, I want to change the gradient a little bit more. Uh, I would just want to adjust this gradient to make sure that it 
it's there in this application. So now the trick uh, comes into play. I want to make sure that this circle is very far away from this menu. So I can bring this up right here to the top somewhere and you know, it's, it's crazy distance, but it works. The circle is vanished now, it's gone. And um, as you can see, I'll just reduce the opacity to a zero as well. And I just want another artboard to duplicate this artboard and uh, to prototype this. And on the second artboard, I want to bring the circle back. So it's lost somewhere here. But first, we'll just increase the opacity of the circle to 100 and bring the circle way down to here, somewhere in the center. Or you can make it, make it somewhere at the top here as well. Doesn't make much of a difference. And uh, let me just copy this cross uh, icon from here. Uh, perfect. So let's quickly prototype this on clicking this burger icon. Let me select this burger icon from... If you can't select an element here, you can come here to the uh, artboard section where we have all the layers. And uh, here I have uh, various elements. The element that we're looking for is... Uh, which element are we looking for? I'm kind of lost myself, don't worry. Yeah, it's in this group. It's uh, group 34. And we want to bring this arrow to the second artboard. Say tap auto animate uh, we'll stick with ease out for this entire tutorial don't worry about that and um, how about 0.6 seconds perfect and for this second artboard we want this arrow to bring us right back so we'll choose the same features and the same uh, uh, presets and 0.2 seconds on the du duration so let's start this prototype and check this out as you can see this gradient slowly comes in and the circle kind of follows. The circle will go away if you actually have an entire artboard and the uh, circle is above the artboard itself. So that'll be, but it's, it kind of looks uh, nice already. It kind of, kind of looks that a circle is coming and joining. So it's pretty cool and you can use this on any web app uh, or uh, an application as well if you're, if you're feeling a little bit uh, experimental. Um, so for the third experiment, what we're going to do is we will just copy this artboard once again because we're lazy. We are, we are lazy designers, so we're not going to make new elements. Uh, so for this, I'm just going to delete uh, all the additions that I had made. And um, for this one, it's we're just free-handed. There is no... Um, I just wanted to create like a... A uh, cool uh, metallic uh, sort of looking um, like a material design kind of a, uh, so, so as to say an animation uh, where there are these material design blocks so as to say uh, not completely material design but kind of looks like that so we'll just freehand uh, with a pen tool and create the shape we'll fill it and we will bring a linear gradient I've already saved the gradient so we're not gonna spend too much time on that and I'll reverse this gradient because we want to go it, uh, uh, make it go from light to dark. Uh, something like that. Perfect. Uh, and we'll just duplicate this again. We're lazy designers. We want to replicate things again and again. <laughs> and we'll just increase the size of this and rotate it just a little bit. Don't worry, we will be masking. So don't worry about the positioning. Uh, and make sure this is uh, somewhat large as well. And uh, we will change the gradient a little bit. We want it to be the darkest. Uh, uh, start from the dark. Um, just like this. Start from the dark. Right here. And end up even darker. So on the, this bottom one we want it even darker. Not too dark. Just in the, in the middle somewhere. And we'll just duplicate this second one as well. And increase the size of this uh, exponentially. Um, because we want it uh, till the bottom, we want this. Or what you can do is also increase the size of the second one so that we can, we don't have to increase the size of this too much. And uh, make sure this is just the right size. And we're going to rotate this even more. Uh, keep rotating this uh, so that there's like a little uh, three-dimensional effect as well. Perfect. Kind of covers the entire screen. I'm just going to... Make sure this is large enough. Uh, we're just freehanding for the third one. We're not really 
you know making sure everything is even or anything um, this is pretty much perfect I guess <laughs> uh, I don't know what for you what perfect is but for me any, anything is perfect basically okay so we're not being able to move anything around much uh, let's make sure yeah perfect so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to mask this. So create another rectangle which fits uh, the entire um, mobile, uh, the app screen right here. Perfect. And uh, just adjust it so that it's the same size as the app screen and uh, height and the width. And uh, perfect. And I'm going to select this rectangle and all three of these weird oblong shapes and say command shift M so that we have this kind of a you know like a mask here and we can adjust these a little bit if you want and I'll just duplicate it and put one here and for the first artboard what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the size of these so just reduce the height basically so for the second one as well uh, do the same for all of these and just push them to the top so as to say uh, just align them up just like that perfect and I'm just going to reduce the opacity of this entire mask itself. And um, now for the magic, hopefully the magic, uh, I'm just going to select this and inside here it should be, inside this mask there should be a group, group uh, 21 and group 34 should be there. And I'll prototype this burger menu to the second artboard, say tap, auto animate, ease out and how about 0.6 seconds. That should do, do the trick. So let's see how our free hand has worked out. Uh, let me just animate this quick. Hey, it looks pretty good. And that was today's video. If you like this video, you give this video a uh, huge thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon because uh, if you hit the bell icon, you will get all my videos before everyone else. I will see you guys in another video next week, every Monday and Thursday. God bless.